Hey, and welcome back to the channel. And this is the brand new Oppo Find X6 Pro, which is Oppo's newest flagship that features a one inch sensor and it's co-engineered with Hasselblad. Now I'm recording this video a few weeks after I took delivery of the phone, but most of what you're gonna see in terms of uh, photo samples and video samples is from the trip that Oppo took us to in Southern Spain in a city called Malaga. So let's talk about Oppo's newest flagship, the Find X6 Pro. All right, so just like any review on this channel, let's talk about its specs real quick. The Oppo Find X6 Pro is of course using Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, which is what most flagships in early 2023 are rocking. And that's being paired with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. But since I have this two-tone leather and glass variant, this one features 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage, which is perfect for serious photographers and videographers. Now, before we talk about the camera setup on the back, can we just admire how beautiful this camera array is on the back of the Find X6 Pro? The camera ring here has this nice texture to it with uh, chamfered edges, and it feels really nice to the touch. I wish the ring itself actually functioned like some sort of focus ring of, you know, some sort, but it's just here for the aesthetics. Besides that though, there's a triple camera setup on the back with a 50 megapixel wide camera, which is that one inch IMX989 sensor that we all know and love, a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera with an IMX890, and a 50 megapixel periscope telephoto lens at 3X, which is also using the IMX890 sensor. They can also digitally crop in at 6X without too much noise or artifacting. Now, just like most recent Oppo phones, this also features the Marie Silicon X NPU, but it's been slightly tweaked or updated to give the Find X6 Pro better photo and video processing, but it's also taking advantage of the ISP from the new Snapdragon HN2 processor. Now up front, we are getting a 6.7 inch OLED display. It's not a flat display, but still less curved than most flagship with these kinds of specs. It also features 120 Hertz refresh rate, which dips down to one Hertz to save on battery. But this also packs an insanely bright display with a peak brightness of 2500 nits, which is something unheard of until today. And throughout my trip to Spain, not once did I find it hard to use this phone in broad daylight, nor did it throttle where it capped the display to a minimum to prevent the phone from overheating. Since it is OLED, the display looked incredible. Colors are super rich and vibrant. The blacks are deep and the viewing angles, in my opinion, is top tier. Again, I wanna make sure to emphasize the 2500 nits of peak brightness, which is ridiculously bright. The only other phone that I know that can hit that 2000 nits mark is the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but even then it doesn't get as bright as this Find X6 Pro at 2500 nits peak. Now, I've only been using the Find X6 Pro for two weeks, maybe three if you count the prototype that we used in Malaga, but so far I haven't really noticed an issue with the screen throttling to a lower peak brightness, nor have I noticed burn-ins or overheating. But what Oppo did to this display is truly magical, and I'm not sure how they're able to pull this off, but so far, color me impressed. Now, as for its performance, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, just like other flagships in 2023, is a beast. There's really nothing I can say besides it being super responsive, and I've yet to notice the phone stutter or lag whenever I'm gaming or switching between all the social apps I'm scrolling on. But over the last couple of weeks I've been using the phone, I've really only been using four apps regularly. That's the camera app, which we'll talk about later, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Lightroom. These four apps are the ones that I'm always on, especially on this phone. And I mean, there's really nothing to complain about here uh, in terms of performance. And as for the battery, it packs a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and can charge the phone up to 100 watts wired or 50 watts wirelessly. And with the help of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, I can push the phone an entire day with about six and a half hours of screen on time, which I'd say is about average for a flagship in early 2023. And that's with the phone's resolution set to QHD plus and dynamic refresh rate with the brightness almost always around 50% with auto brightness. And it's connected via Wi-Fi and on T-Mobile's 5G network. When it comes to software, since this is Oppo's flagship device, it's running ColorOS 13.1, which is based off of Android 13. And in my opinion, it's not bad. I've gotten really used to ColorOS since I recently reviewed the Find N2 Fold and Flip, but also have been playing with the OnePlus 11, which if you want me to make a video on, let me know in the comments below. 
Going back to the software on this phone though, one thing I will say about ColorOS 13 that I really like is the fact that I can use almost all of the custom icon packs that I've downloaded from the Google Play Store and apply the icon pack right from the Oppo launcher, which is something I can't do on the S23 Ultra or the Pixel 7 Pro. Oftentimes you'd have to use a custom launcher like Nova for example and apply an icon pack or good lock on Samsung phones. So this is really nice to see on a stock launcher on the Oppo Find X6 Pro, but besides that, the phone that I have right now unfortunately is running a China based ROM which doesn't have the Google Play Store services uh, pre-installed when you first set up the phone and some of the settings are still in Chinese even though I actually have the phone set to English which can be pretty annoying at times and there's no way to you know translate them or force it to English but I will say the overall experience once everything is set up it almost feels like the global version which I got to use on the Oppo Find N2 Flip and the OnePlus 11. All right, now we're at the very exciting portion of this video and we're talking cameras. Now, I did mention earlier in the video that the cameras on the Find X6 Pro is a triple 50 megapixel camera, and that's for the ultra wide, the 1X and 3X zoom lens. Now, I'm not gonna make this portion of this video a comparison between other flagships with similar specs, but more so talk about what I like about the cameras on the Find X6 Pro and what I think about them. So one big emphasis or message that Oppo wants everyone to know is that we should no longer call the 1X the main camera and I kind of have to agree with them on that. In the past few weeks that I've been using the Find X6 Pro, I've defaulted my camera to shoot almost always using the 3X uh, telephoto lens. Whether that's indoors or outdoors, I love using the 3X zoom lens since it's using a pretty big sensor and the camera doesn't switch to the 1X lens and digitally zooming in to 3X like older phones. Now the 1X or one inch sensor shoots incredible photos, don't get me wrong, having that insane f1.8 aperture on that one inch sensor gives you incredible low light performance and even better depth separation between your subject and the background. But there's something about the compression that you can get out of that 3X zoom lens that makes each photo look incredible. So most of the samples that you've been seeing were shot on a prototype version of this phone. So the final software, including camera fixes and algorithm in its colors wasn't finalized then, but Oppo did tell me that it was about 90-ish percent done when we were using it. And for a phone that wasn't running final software, it shot some pretty incredible looking stills. Now I have shot some new ones, which will have the proper watermarking in each photo that was shot on the final build, the one that I've actually been reviewing for the past couple of weeks. And honestly, when I shot with this phone a few weeks back, all the photos I shot looked incredible out of the camera and I'm getting similar looking results with the final build. Now, I still wish there's a way that Oppo and Hasselblad can add that pro color tuning to the normal auto mode without having to use pro mode because in pro mode, the HDR processing isn't as good as the normal auto mode and you'll notice the photos with bright parts in the image start to clip and get blown out. And while in auto mode, it balances out everything and turns down the highlights so it's not clipping. It'll also up the shadows a bit so that you have a more balanced exposed image. Now, when it comes to videos, I think the stabilization is pretty incredible on this phone. Autofocus is pretty quick and the video compression or detail is just right where it doesn't look too much like it's shot on a phone. I love the natural depth of field that I can get with that one inch sensor. And even if I was to switch using the 3X or 6X digital zoom, it still looked great. And I love that I can shoot 4K up to 60 frames on all three lenses or all four focal lengths, which is awesome. However, if you are a selfie shooter and love taking videos with the front facing camera, you're capped to 1080p 60. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Oppo Find X6 Pro. It's a phone that features an incredible triple 50 megapixel camera that you're gonna love shooting photos and videos on. It packs a ridiculously bright display up to 2,500 nits of brightness and a design that I think is a lot better than the Find X5 Pro from last year and some of the other phones that I reviewed recently. I think this two-tone leather and glass combo is such a beautiful looking design. Now, just a few days ago, I actually thought that this phone was gonna launch globally, but I was just told that the Find X6 Pro is a Chinese market exclusive for now with no plans to launch globally anytime soon. I'm hoping that Oppo changes their mind about this since I think the Find X6 Pro would be an incredible competitor to Xiaomi's 13 Pro, which you can actually buy globally for around $1,300. 
Now, the price that I did get from Oppo for the Find X6 Pro once converted to US dollars is around $1,000, which is honestly such a great price for what you're getting. If you don't care about having to sideload the Google Play Store and its services, which by the way is super easy to do, the Find X6 Pro is an incredible alternative to Samsung's S23 Ultra, Google's Pixel 7 Pro, and even Apple's iPhone 14 Pro Max. If you're a camera nerd and you love to take photos and videos, I don't think that you'll be disappointed with the cameras on this phone. Anyways, that's been it for this video. And again, if you guys want to check out my Xiaomi 13 Pro review, I'll leave that link down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we are trying to get to 50K subscribers and we are so close to hitting that milestone. And with your help, I think we can get there pretty quickly. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.